In this video we'll run through the setup process needed for Office 365 and OAuth for use with Goldvision mail tracking. This requires creating a new registered application in Azure Active Directory via Office 365. So in the Office 365 admin area we'll go to Show All. Then Azure Active Directory and then we'll click Azure Active Directory again. Then from here we'll go to App Registrations. We're going to create a new registration. Here we'll give it a descriptive name, we'll call it Office 365 Mail Tracking as an example registration name. In the Supported Account Types section we'll set this as a single tenant which will be suitable for most scenarios. And that's all we need to set up here so we can now go ahead and click register. Next we need to go to API permissions. We'll leave the default permission in place and go to add permission. We'll click on APIs my organization uses and we need to look for Office 365 Exchange Online. This will need to be an enterprise application that your company uses. So we'll select the one here and then select application permissions and then select full access and click add permissions. From here we're going to click grant admin consent and click yes. So now we need to go back to Azure Active Directory and then to app registrations and open up our registered application. So we need to take a note of a couple of IDs. Uh, the ones we're interested in are the application client ID and the directory tenant ID. So once we have these, the setup in Azure Active Directory is complete and we can now go over to Goldvision and complete the setup for mail tracking against our users. So back in Goldvision with the user profile open, we click on Actions and go to Mail Tracking Settings to open up the config panel. And here we're going to set the type to Office 365 and we're going to change the authentication method to OAuth. Now we could use an existing registered Azure application that we'd already created, but here we're going to create a new one. So in here we're going to set the mailbox username alias to the user's email address. Uh, the application name is a descriptive name for this application. So we can call it whatever we feel appropriate here. Then we'll take the Azure registered application tenant ID and Azure registered application client ID fields and we'll key in the, the details from the Office 365 admin center that we copied earlier. The next step is to create a client secret. So we need to go back to Azure Active Directory in Office 365 and click on certificates and secrets against our registered application. And in here we're going to click on new client secret. We'll give it a description and set an expiry here and then click add. Next we need to copy the value in the client secret that we've just created. This value should be stored in an appropriate secure location uh, as once it's taken from here it's uh, no longer visible. So back in Goldvision we can transfer that uh, client secret into the connection settings and click test. That now shows that we've successfully connected to the mailbox so we can click save to save those details. Now if we go to a different user and open up the uh, mail tracking settings there, we can see that uh, when we select uh, the authentication method OAuth, we can select um, the existing registered application that we've just um, created. So all we'd need to do from here is uh, fill in the user's um, email address in the mailbox username alias field and then click test and save the uh, settings.
Then repeat the process for any other users in the system that need uh, the email tracking setting up in this way, just by reusing the existing registered application.